<laughs> no moth, no, you do not understand. But as I said, no mortal can resist the dance of passion. Uh oh. What fridges are they? Why is this stranger in thy chambers? Where are thy clothes? Darling, such surprise. I have an explanation for everything. I'm not daft sorceress. I can see very well what has been happening here. What do you have to say? And I defence, Slagnar. I'm leaving. Not so fast, peasant. A special punishment reserved for those who dare play games with my mistresses. No, do not feel that joy. I spare this one from the wrath. Do not send him to the pit. I demand that this criminal be punished by the Council of Mages. Let the Quorum of Mages be convened instantly. Yeah, shit. Order. Order in the court. <sighs> we have convened this day to hear the case of Slade now to commit treason. The criminal is charged with lusting after the mistress of the mage lord. Let me speak. I beg the mage lord for virtue. I spare this person's life. It was all my fault. After all, no mortal can resist the dance of passion. Nothing happened. My fellow wizards, I'm sure, are able to see beyond this criminal's denials. After all, I caught him in the bedchamber. Please see aid. We will now hear from the character witnesses. Oh, God, not another trial. This stranger came to my shop, asked many strange and personal questions regarding the sorceress Frigiazzi. Me. Captain Arthur raised his own defence. He must be guilty, as if the next witness say how weather. I just travelled with this person upon my recent voyage from the inn. I have many long talks with him. Must report that his character is not to be trusted. He's a liar, fraud. He's not to consult with people of the lowest type. I deny this. Denial will do no good. Slug now does not understand the way the Mage Lord will have his way. Well, in depth, you've heard the evidence. The coming was like a disease, bring destruction upon us all. Worst of all, if dead to tamper with the affections of whom I hold most dear. How do you judge him? For the crime event in the bedchamber of Mage Lord's mistress, you must find him guilty. With all the offend the Mage Lord, the criminal must be sent to the Delho. The Delho? The Hellhole? No, it's Dungeon Freedom. No, no. Not that place. You should never be seen alive again. Be this criminal as with all others. If he can find his way back to the surface world, then he should be a free man. Enough of this jabbering. Let justice be done. What's going on? Where am I going? Greetings, felon. In the mountains of freedom, a magical prison from which none have escaped, and the caretaker, this is a duty to record thy name and crime. And the avatar, I see perhaps because of pleaded insanity and avoid being sent here, felon. What crime are you charged? Angering Phil Birch, yeah. Ah, that a fine company there, none yesterday we had another such fun arrive, let me see. Stefano was his name. So they was told him, sleep passes thy time here and may provide thee with new ideas for winning our freedom. So be wary of two rogue mages who roam through these passageways, they came here in search of the Finry agent Stoneheart and never escaped. Mindful of the other felons, most are quite desperate by now and will kill thee for this possess. In fact, it may prove to be their greatest danger. Another caretaker within the prison with a small supply of food and healing potion for sale if you need any. You don't make that far, of course. I make rounds periodically to note who've died for the records. May notice later that I take great care to memorise all who perish here so the passing shall not go unremarked. Remember, if you can find that way out, you'll be free. Goodbye, felon. Uh, I am in inmates must. work no new arrivals uh, form one line <laughs> okay so I've got my spell book which is annoying because I could have actually I've taken my blink ring as well. Bastards. What's that? Scale armor. Okay. Oh, 
scythe. Yeah, but the fairy got up them. As well as my fairy boots. Oh god, I'll need a torch, right? Uh, and food. Present gold for food. Got to get out. No, yeah. Oh, fuck. Nice. Well, do you know what? I'll be sold. And whatever that is. everything in it. Oh, down that key. shield right you gonna wake up or not No, apparently not. Escape is impossible. Um, well, thanks for that. Damn fast trapper. Oh, fuck. Okay. I really didn't want him to turn up. Let me get the fuck out of here. Must be a hidden door or wall or something. I believe it is in here. Spear. Where are you going now? <sighs> yeah, there must be a fake wall somewhere. <laughs> See? Torches. What's that?
present gold for food. Bless me. Sausage fest. <laughs> Clearly doesn't want to talk. No, I'm not gonna kill him in case. Hey. Oh, what? Random teleports back to the same place. Fuck that. Going that way is pointless. Okay, you might actually want to like attack the main threat. Ah. They can just have them disappear, whichever is easiest. place it's just one big trap Attack the fucking gazer.
Oh, come on. Freedom. Oh yeah, because this is going to be just fine, isn't it? Well, at least I know that they'll be gone if I die. actually dead. Need any except for the ring of reagents. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna Just in time, we use the lantern. Uh, 
I don't. Oh, so not have my reagents. Oh. Well, hang on. You should not have my reagents, and then he runs through the fucking thing, leaving his reagents. Where have you gone, you fool? Stop. I'm Stefano, late of Moonshade, now obtainer of rarities. So just in prison, day, my lord. I freely admit that I'm no fighter, but I have a quick wit and information that should help me pass out of this foul place. Perhaps if we join together, there's a small chance of escape. Somewhere in this labyrinth there are two switches that must be thrown at the same time in order to continue to the exit. I don't know where exactly, but I'm sure that it would be apparent. Without me to guide, there's no chance of winning free of this place for all I price. And without thee, I have no hope of surmounting what lies in the next room. One of the things I'll best about my peculiar line of work is the ability to move silently, my lord. It may be the only thing that saved my life this time. When I came into this room, I had some sort of commotion in the next room. When I sneaked into the entrance, I saw a mage and a very, very large monster before I ran back in here. Last time I looked, they were still in there. I think it was a dragon. Oh, what? You must let me join thee without my aid. That can not help to escape. And I'm no fighter without thee. I'm a dead man. I do not recognise him, but the robes just into the image. So the few foolhardy mages have attempted to sneak into the tunnels in search of Stoneheart. Few who try have ever returned to the outside world. Forbidden to possess Stoneheart, my lord, for good reason. It's the basis for the reagent that filled all the Vasculio spells. Some say it can steal a man's wits. It's very dangerous. I'm not sure I can speak a bit here. This is an awful place. All Feber Biblia, Fed the Biblia, uses a tale to frighten the novices. I know some it may be an impression on me. The school he was an adept who lived outside security strictures, tortured and killed without restraint, using death agony to feed power into its spells. The council put him to death, but his power had grown beyond even that limitation. They found his grave empty not long after burial, so he still wanders the world looking for new victims. Strictures of the rules. Yeah. Meant to keep measures from banning all bonds of civilized behaviour and of suit knowledge. You should know, my lord, there are some things in the world that would be best left unknown. Uh Anyway, what do you desire to speak of? Rarities. Calls quite a bit. Scrolls, magical apparatus, love of recruitment, reagents, anything the client thinks he values, so I'll be by rarities. No, ask me no more, I guarantee my client's complete security. We will forget the promise dealing with mages. I'd be very dead very fast, or at least I'd hope I'd be dead. A few drawbacks to knowing anything, not to know anything about Magic Reload, all the alternatives being dead come too regularly to mind. One's crystal balls, never admit to anything specific, follow my life, unless I'm actually caught in the act. No one can prove anything, and I stay alive a bit longer. Let's say it's a game of sorts. Potter is droning on, moonshade. No, I'm no mage, so they tell me that I have a bit of the ability. But what good is that when the city is ruled by adepts? No, no, it's not for me. Give me a good challenge in searching any day. The harder something is to find, the better I like it. Most people hire the services, then exactly what they need and where it is. Or perhaps I should say they know who the mansion is in. From there, I must determine how it went, uh, went, and then I have to keep out to, and then I have to outwit an adept who wish to keep it hidden from my talents. I've yet to be outdone on that. Moonshade weren't ruled by the adepts. Can you imagine what it would be like trying to govern all those powerful mages? With all the fragile egos, large fragile egos. There's one central problem with the adepts and that they have no regard for those little honor magic. However, in some ways, it makes my life easier. I say, my lord, I acquire, reality, uh, I acquire rarities, and sometimes those items are previously owned, shall we say. But adepts being the pompous lot they are, fail to see anything other than magical attack as a threat. Most adepts drop simple physical traps to guard their mansions. Of course, there's always automatons to deal with. But once I know that secret, that are as good as mine. Automatons constructs are quite fast and fierce. Definitely don't want to count one count in a dark hallway. Physical traps, sliding walls, fireballs, shoot out the walls, shoot doors. He goes, oh, half of it, one time I was pass, passing time at the blue ball when Frigigazi was there. But Luncia had rather promptly marked that Frigigazi was looking at Sephiroth rumpled that day. Suddenly they were at each other, of course they were pretty much evenly matched until Selenia showed up. But that's I refer to. Fragile egos, hot tempers. Who? I would rather face an ire of Frigidazi and Rutlandia than that of Selenia. She is worse than a cat. She will toy with thee before she kills thee. She wants thee to have time to consider what will happen to thee and why. Selenia was Frigidazi's dearest friend until they had a fight. 
don't know what it was about, but I'm surprised it was caused by Fujinazi being fed with the Mage Lord. I think Selenia thought she was to be his next companion. All I know is that the fight was spectacular. Selenia was on a hawk ship the next day, bound for the Sleeping Bull. Say she does have relatives in Monitor. I bet that's Selena.